welcome to the talk show with Pretzel Alumni. Special guests, Keegan Hodges and Matthew Chambers III. Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to this discussion with me and Mr. Keegan Hodges. <laughs> um, yeah, we got together. I'm Matthew Chavers. Uh, we both graduated from Freeport High School 2020. Um, and we're, today we're going to uh, just have a, like a uh, discussion um, talking about our how we um, experience uh, our culturally relative teaching at, throughout the high school. So we're just going to reflect on our experiences. So, Keegan, um, did any teachers teach different students in different ways? Um, to, for me, myself, I didn't really notice none, but I feel like I had a really good relationship with my teachers to start off with. But another thing I'd like to add before I answer my question is that I feel like 2020 has just changed the way everybody looks at everything and gives people a different view of what you need to say or what you need to do. So some people might see things differently now of coming out of 2020. So that being said, once I look back on just my experiences throughout high school, I feel like there's been some things that could be borderline, like was that re relevant or should that be handled like that? Um, but as far as me, myself, I haven't experienced any. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Um, personally, I've experienced some different attitudes from different teachers compared to, say, a student of, like, a different race or even a different sex. Um, not necessarily all the time was it negative, but you can definitely tell, like, the way a teacher, the attitude in teaching something or how they explain something or the things that they expect you to, you to already know compared right. to someone else. So, um yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, were any teachers transparent with how they taught everyone? Like, were they just, they taught everyone the same no matter what? So I feel like some teachers, the big difference of teaching comes in where, what classes you take up, far as is it a PE class and what kind of PE class? And then you got honors, regular, that kind of stuff. I feel like different teachers handle different students different ways and they feel like that's what they should be doing but when at the same time they could be babying one and not babying the other because of certain reasons that go unnoticed at the time yeah i i can agree with that also but then again i have also experienced i think you might know who i'm talking about but there has been a few teachers where whether you were black white blue yellow boy girl alien like they would they taught you the same no matter what if you knew the material if you didn't know their attitude towards each student was the same they didn't treat anybody with favoritism or they didn't show any like disliking of any student they just taught everyone the same but i mean a few Definitely. teachers that have not all and there's not many honestly because a lot of some teachers they don't i don't even think they realize it but it's like unconscious how they would you know approach different kids you know but there, right. have, there have been some teachers who've just been transparent. You know, what you see is what you get with every student. Mm -hmm. um, was there ever a time where you felt like you were taught or treated differently because of your race or your sex? Um, I felt like a couple times there was, I don't know about race or sex, but I felt like because of who I was connected to, things were different on me than other people. And at no point did I want that, but that's just how it was because I felt teachers felt they had a different connection with me than they could other students where it should have been the same connection throughout. So if you feel like you have a connection with me, there should be a reason why you feel like you have a connection with my desk partner or my lab partner or whoever is in your class. Yeah, that makes sense. And, um, I mean, pretty much everyone knows that like, the reason they treated you that way because you had like a administrative relative, you know, because your parent works at the school. And I can see where you would be treated differently or teachers would have a different attitude or different expectation 
uh, uh, for for you compared to say like me, you know. But also, yeah. I feel like there were there are times where um, just depending, like you said, depending on the class, you know, whether it's a regular um, general course or a honors AP course, like some teachers, the way teachers um, base their attitudes towards teaching different students or there's even been times where you walk in the hallway and like teachers you just know they have a different attitude or opinion about this student versus that student you know right and i feel like that was just a big theme in the class of 2020 because there were so many of us that had a connection uh with a relative or any connection at all with somebody within the school district so there was a little bit more comfortability and knowing who that person was or how to handle that person, so to speak. Yeah, I agree. Um, how comfortable did you feel in classes with your teachers? Um, throughout the years, just freshman through senior, there's been you, – you always have – each student, I feel like, is always going to have that one teacher where they, it's like they never leave them alone and they always find that one. It's almost like finding your rock almost, like a support system outside of your counselor. And so I feel like there's been some throughout the years that I could really say, like, I call up now and say, let's go to lunch or something like that. And then there's some at the other time that just give you the vibe of a – I'm your teacher, I'm not your friend, or I don't want to get to know you. You're here to do my work and finish my lesson plan, stuff like that you might get the vibe from. Yeah, definitely. I feel like overall throughout high school, um, every teacher that I had was pretty much, you know, very passionate about, like, what they taught. So if you could, like, if you were, like, interested in class and you paid attention in class and you participated and, like, it was that much easier for you to be comfortable around them because you kind of sort of built a relationship with them, if that makes sense. Right. And then, you know, like as soon as you build that relationship, you know, class doesn't seem like you're not scared to ask questions or you're not scared to, you know, talk to them outside of class or reach out to them for anything. Exactly. And I would just say like, I know we're talking about like what we experienced, but through what I experienced, I feel like a good piece of advice for teachers or anybody within the school district would be get involved with your students or get involved in a club or something at school, be a coach, something to where now they're interacting with you outside of the schoolroom class. Or setting. just that, like, you know, just that subject or whatever, you know, exactly. Yeah. That makes sense. I and definitely, even if it's yeah. not doing a club or coaching, like, let them know I'll be at your game tonight. I'm rooting for you or something like that because those things can go a long way because not everybody has parents that come to every single game. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Um, like, speaking about that, I, I I agree. Like, you know, like, even if it's like a, you know, good luck at your game tonight, like a teacher telling you that, I was, like, when you're walking out of class for to the, to the next period and, you right. know, like, you, you kind of feel like, oh, like, they know I got a game today. Like, let's, you know, it's kind of cool. Like, they they supporting us or, you know, like, because honestly, there have been times where not much, but there have been times where, like, you walk, like, you sit down, you listen to, like, a lecture or you do a, an assignment and, like, you wouldn't never, like, talk to that teacher ever again. But, like, more, like, nine times out of ten, like, there were teachers who, you know, they would talk to you about, stuff outside of class, things going on, you know, even right. if it's like, what's for lunch today, you guys have like a 20 second conversation about what's for lunch, you know, it's mm -hmm. just those, those little things that help create a relationship, which I think, like you said, you know, building that relationship with the teacher is very important because it helps get comfortable and it, it really helps being culturally relevant because like, once you know, just if you have some, like the smallest relationship with the teachers, I feel like it's, I feel like it's that much easier to right. get to students, and, to let them know that you're there for them and for students to actually want to come to school and learn and want to go to a certain classroom because they know, like, he's not just here just to get a paycheck, you know. He's here because he has an interest in, you know, teaching kids and, you know. Right. And I feel like with the way things are nowadays with, well, before COVID, with how school or is you're in high school for four years, you're in middle school for four years, being in that building and finding that one teacher from day one, don't stop just because you're not teaching them anymore. Still try and have that connection, talk to them in the hallways. And just a big thing with getting to know your teachers, it would just be as simple 
simply as from day one, do you let them know you can come eat in my classroom without having to do work or I will write you a pass to do this work, but then you can also sit and talk to me or whatever. Just build that type of social time with them almost. Yeah. And do you, do you think you had a, a couple of teachers that, you know, you could like, you had that type of relationship with? Oh, definitely. From teachers that just let you come in there and eat, play games from being on game day, just letting you use their computer to go over film or come and roll out or something like simple as just getting ice. Yeah, I agree with that as well. And I think that's that's probably one thing that, you know, kind of made it, – it was something to look forward to, you know, because, like, I mean, not every kid is going to say they love going to school, but, like, if they if they can go to a classroom where they know the teacher is going to, like – he's going to be understandable, but, you know, he's going to actually – he or she's going to show that they care about you. It's It makes it that much different, you know, like you actually want to go to school, then you actually want to participate when they're teaching you actually, you know, you're interested in something. Right. Yeah. And even with Zoom the way it is now, with Zoom, you can open the class with, instead of having all this bell work, you can just open the class with how's everybody's weekend. I want you to put one word in the chat of explaining your day or something as simple as that. So kids aren't just coming to your class and shutting off the camera and playing a video game or just coming to the class and leaving for the credit or just establishing that reason to come to class. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, did, did your teachers ever get to know something about you personally and vice versa? Like, did they ever, did you ever know anything about them personally? So I think that would just go back to what we were just talking about perfectly of how eating lunch in their room and just having those conversations or playing sports. Like as as far as what position you play is is per that's personal enough for high school. I mean, you don't need to get to know their whole family tree. You can just right, get to know right. what position, what color you like, or just stuff like that. Yeah, I agree. Um, I've had teachers where you know we you know talked about. Um, family things, nothing too crazy. Um, as it could be something like, you know, where your parents went to school, where their parents went to school, something about their kids. Um, what's your favorite TV show? Maybe uh, there was a lot of teachers that, um, I had the, like the, the same favorite TV show and we'd watch episodes and like, we spend maybe a minute talking about just recapping what happened, you know, just certain things like that, that I really think when teachers, Bill, that I just really think that's a big thing is for teachers to try to find a way to build a connection with each student. And it doesn't have to be like a big connection. You know, it just has to be like something as simple as, you know, we watch the same TV show on Mondays. So we're going to talk about it for 20 seconds on every Tuesday, you know, so. Definitely. And I would definitely say a big way to get to know someone personally or even just academically is what is your policy when they fail that big test or they fail that quiz? Will you let them retake it? And if it's not retake it, will you let them know it is okay? You'll have other assignments to bring that up or will you just be like, you should have studied more and just put it all on them. Although it is on them because they failed, they took the test. How do you comfort them when they hit that low in your class? Yeah. And I think that that's where teachers have to be big on communication, you know, just letting them know that like, you're not, like they failed the work, but you're not, you're not there to fail them. You know, you're there to teach them. So you're going right. to let them know what they need to do in order to be successful. And I it's mean, just big on communication. Right. I mean, you, you probably know, we've had a couple classes throughout the years. There's the, definitely those teachers to where they let you come in after school or they make certain deals with you. If you do this, this, and this, I'll give you this extra credit. Or if you can get higher than an A on this test, It'll bring your grade to here. So here's this Quizlet I made for you or just something as simple as that. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I really think that's – is there anything else you'd like to say? No, I think that's it. Yeah.